Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain about basics of extrusion process along with its applications. So let us start with the basic theory of extrusion process. So you can see in case of the extrusion process, it will be considering as a metal is going to be a plastic flow. So whatever the cross section area is required just you can pass through that die materials so in case of the extrusion in which process the metal is subjected to plastic flow by enclosing the metal in a closed chamber in which only the openings provide it through a die so important part is die material and the shape of the die so whatever cross section area is required in case of the long objects, so just you can use that cross sectional area of the die. And another end, there will be the closed chamber in which the material is being filled. And with the application of the high pressure, this material it will be just passing through this die and it will be converting into desired shape and size. So there is no limitation with respect to the length of the job. So if you want to make a road or you can say if you want to make a pipe, if you want to make C section, T sections that will be used into the structural part, such kind of applications of the extrusion process. So the materials is usually treated so that it can undergo plastic deformation. So once it will be passing through this dye material, this material or you can say metal, it will be having a permanent deformation or you can say it will be having a permanent shape, which will be having a high mechanical properties. It will be used into the structural part, rotating parts and most of the mechanical engineering devices. So you can consider it as a extrusion that will be a plastic deformation of the metallic materials at sufficient rapid rate and also you can say it will be used to squeeze out the hole into the tie. So that will be depends upon the which kind of complexity of the job, shape of the jobs and according to that you will select the die materials. So in the process the metal assumes the opening providing into the die and comes out as a long strip with the same cross sectional area as the die opening. So whatever the section of that die according to that it will be having its cross sectional area. So later on I will show the different cross sectional area that will be make with the help of extrusion process. So accidentally the metal strip produce will have longitudinal grain flow. So whatever the length you require, just you can use that kind of amount of materials. It will be filled into the chamber and it will be passing through the die materials. After this, in this extrusion process is most commonly used for manufacturing of the solid or you can say hollow sections of the non-ferrous metals and alloys. So these non-ferrous metals and alloys that will be having a good ductility. It will be having a easy to flow. That's why it will be possibility with respect to non-ferrous metals and alloys. If you want to make a extrusion product with the hard material, so that will be having a difficulties to flow like a alloys and non-ferrous metal. So most of the cases in case of the extrusion product, it will be made with the aluminium, aluminium, magnesium, alloys, magnesium and its alloy, copper, brass, bronze, etc. So these all are the raw materials it will be used in the extrusion product. So if you want to make solid or hollow cross sectional area, both are possible with the extrusion process. The material to be extruded in the shape of cast ingots or you can say billets. Extrusion shocks may be done hot or cold. The cross sectional of extruded product may be having a variety and it will be having a wide applications in the field. So just you can see 
if you want to make a solid parts of their circular hexagon such kind of shapes it will be made with the help of extrusion product or you can also make the such kind of gear it will be also made with the help of extrusion process just you can make a that cross sectional die so in the case of this kind of shape just you can make the die of this shape and passing this material from this die so it will be having a long strip of this cross sectional area then according to your length you have to cut that so if you want to make this kind of solid or if you want to make this kind of hollow both are possibilities with the extrusion process after this some of the advantages of extrusion process like the complexity and the range of the parts which can be produced by extrusion process is very large and the you can make the any length of the part so dies are relative simple and easy to make secondly the extrusion process is complete in one pass only so that will be considering as a time saving techniques this is not so in case of the rolling amount of reduction into in extrusion is very large indeed extrusion can be easily automated then the large diameter hollow products thin wall tube etc are easily produced with the help of extrusion process without any kind of joints then good surface finish excellent dimensional and geometrical accuracy is the whole mark of the extruded product this cannot be matched by the rolling process so i hope you can understand this about the basics of the extrusion process if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching